good afternoon. Um, this is hard for everyone. I am Caleb Nyakundi, fifth son, fifth child, second son, to the late my dear mother, Jane Bosiri. Um, there's, there's almost nothing I can say to give justice to the life she lived. Um, she was a loving woman, a beautiful woman, caring. She may not, I, I, I never got the chance to tell her this, but I admire, one thing I admired most about her, for which I always hold to standard in my life, she was the most caring wife and mother to our, our family. <clears throat> and trust me, it was not easy. There were difficult times. There were easier times. We are a typical and at the same time not a typical family. We faced challenges, maybe unique to us, maybe some may relate. But through all our shared experiences, her character shone through. She was one of the strongest women I've ever met, if not the strongest. She was a pillar in this family. She held my father up. She held us up. Whatever it was we needed, even when she was not able, she would go out of her way, do above and beyond to make it happen for us. When we needed a friend, Every now and then, she would call me to the side. She knew I wasn't, I was a bit private. She would tell me, she had a very nice, sweet voice. She would tell me, Nyakundi nini She would tell me something and I would feel at least a bit more comfortable. I would speak to her. My father doesn't know this, but we had some secrets. <laughs> she would help us when I needed something that I may not have felt comfortable to speak to a parent about. She took off her parent clothes, wore her, pa her friend clothes, came, spoke to us, helped, gave advice and uh, the, the one story I will never forget is how she, she did save my life when I was a baby, a sickly baby. She rushed me to the hospital took me from the brink of death, made sure I was whole again, kept me well fed, and she is the one that is responsible for the tall young man you see in front of you. I may never thank her enough. Right now, she is in a better place, I choose to believe. We saw her suffer. 
she ailed for some time. And through it all, she still stood strong. She fought. I will forever admire that. On her last day, we didn't know it was her last day. We are full of hope, but it was her time. The Lord called her and she answered. I got the call just before I got into bed. It sunk the next day. It was very hard. It still is very hard. We will uphold her values, her memory, all the good things she imparted into us which we will show every day of our lives. She is in my heart. She is part of me. Her body just died. She is with us. Mom, I love you. Go well. We will miss you. Thank you for coming to mourn with us. It will be well.